Greetings and salutations. Um, I figured I'd uh, give this game a bit of a try. Basically, it is the Command and Conquer uh, Remastered Edition, released this year, 2020. Um, I was a big fan of Command and Conquer when it was originally released, and as soon as though it's been remastered. Uh, I figured I'd give it a, a recording here. Um, there's, I'm doing this offline because it's a, like one of them things where it's like this game can get a little bit intense and you need to be paying attention to it. So rather than trying to do this on a Twitch stream and be watching Chad and interacting with everybody, I figured I'd um, give this a bit of a recording um, on its own rather than uh, streaming it. It allows me to take breaks, it allows me to focus on what I'm doing, and to a certain degree I'll also be able to edit out the boring bits. Um, not that there's too many boring bits in this, um, but also, you know, I have a feeling that I'll not probably be talking as much um, as I usually do. I have just watched the uh, intro, which you can see in the uh, bonus gallery, um, which is one of them things where I gotta say, um, you know, it's something that I miss about uh, old style games and um, you know DOS installation sequences. It's all like because it wasn't, it wasn't all handled by this is probably more this is probably a little bit boring by the fact of it's all like it's nothing to do with the game but when you used to install games because they had to code in the installer and the setup of it all is you know most game companies it's all like, you know um where do you want it installed and okay it's installed now run setup okay that is now run um i'd just like to take a moment if uh, I could to actually just show you, you know, to a certain degree what it was like, and it gave me chills re-watching this, because I remember the first time watching this, installing it, and it's kind of good to see how times have changed. Um, so, it's only a couple of minutes long. I might cut this whole section out um, from the final video, but here we go. Welcome to the... Okay, apparently that just plays it in that little window. I'm going to click on this button. Hopefully it'll do it full screen. <laughs> to the electronic video agent installation. And yes, this is the video quality that you were used to get. I, I don't even think it was this high of a video quality back in the day. Oh, yeah, he used to do this, and then it was so like it didn't uh, say the installing graphics driver, but it would do this where it's all like showing you the uh, logo that's all new, but it's showing as it's upgraded. Um, Welcome to the electronic video agent installation. Yeah, you used to have to select out your sound card. It wasn't all built in by DirectX. And then once you'd chosen it, you had to set up the port IRQ and DMA. So it declared obsolete. Left, right, center. That's something that a lot of old sound cards and um, speaker setups used to get confused. Sound hardware initialized. This program will upgrade Command and Conquer to high definition video, audio, and graphics. Upgrading. Please stand by. This is one of the things where this was actually when it was installing the game. This graphic came up, um, and yeah, just watching them bars fill up was um, for last minute of... changes and notes. Please examine the README file. Uh, that is exactly the same as the original. Um, and then it used to go into this, and it, I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of this was uh, when it came to the installation, but... And then the infamous line. 
Welcome back, Commander. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, installation. And you just don't get that these days. You know, a lot of the time you install it via Steam. You click on the install button and click install where it wants to be installed. And that's it. That's your lot. Um, this menu has been expanded since the original game. I think there was like five options. Um, for the original game, and then you got the covert operation pack, which introduced mission select. Uh, interesting to see that it's got the console missions in here. Um, I don't know how much they differed, but I'll probably give it a try out at some point. Um, and it even has, you know, a section for user maps, and in the launcher it actually comes up with a sort of like, um, map editor button. I remember them doing that for Command & Conquer Red Alert, not for the original Command & Conquer. And this is the remastered pack, so it actually includes, uh, the original Command & Conquer by Tiberium Dawn, and Command & Conquer Red Alert, the first one. Um, there's a lot of hype online saying basically they want to see the entire franchise done. Um, I'm not strictly opposed to some of that, because um, getting some of them, um, Tiberium Sun and Red Alert 2 going these days is a lot of effort. Um, so let's click on Start New Game, and I think this will jump straight into another video. The Grain Trade Center in Vienna was the 17th urban bombing in four weeks, blamed on Nod terrorists. The Security Commission remains in close session tonight following Nod terrorist actions in Slovenia. At least your mother tipped well. Harsh, unforgiving wilderness. New Tiberium harvesting methods instituted by the Brotherhood of Nod increase profitability by 49%. Nod Tiberium holdings now account for almost half of the world's known supply, giving the quasi-terrorist group incredible leverage in the London Gold Exchange. On the domestic side... <laughs> ...cover of Tiberium ignored reporters at Hong Kong's Second World Tiberium Economic Impact Summit. Mobius is expected to refute charges from the scientific community that Tiberium might be dangerous. Only my alone al -Asqar. As the DDI forces take off in another Nod assault, the free world holds its breath. This is Greg Burdett, WWN, somewhere in the Mediterranean. Oh, that was it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the same as the original video. Again, it's higher quality. It's all been remastered. Um, I am probably going to play through all of these. Um, this is probably just going to be a bit of a short introductory video. Um, I'd be curious to see how this both plays out from both sides. I am going to go down both sides, but I'm probably going to go with not to begin with. All right. See you on the next video.